Father, we come before you in the precious name of Jesus, just giving you the glory and the honor that's due you. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to see this day. Yeah. A day that we have never seen before, but we yeah. thank you, Father, because we know that it's full of your blessings, your promises, oh God, your mercy. <laughs> and your grace. Yes. Father, we ask that you bless this hour, this time of teaching. Yes. Bless the man of God that you have set before us, that you're going to pour into who's going to pour into us. Father God, give us ears to hear what it is that the Spirit is saying to us. In this, we give you glory, honor, in the matchless name of Jesus. In the exalted name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, real quick, I'm, going, I'm not going to be real formal. We've done this. You know, y'all got the gist of it, so I'm just going to dive in and just start talking to you just like we're on the street. Okay. <laughs> During this season, we are dealing with the Passover of our Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, long before Christ died, Israel was keeping the Passover. They would sacrifice a lamb. They would eat the lamb. And they would put blood over the doorposts of their homes. Uh, this was isolating them from the rest of the world. No other people was doing this. Same way with your salvation. There are no other people like you. Only those that have accepted Christ has the blood of Jesus over the doorposts of their heart. So you're, no, you're not like anybody else. So we can't be... We can't try to be world friendly and mix in with them. We are different. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to be different. And God said we're different. He didn't say you're better than anybody else. He, but what you need to understand is you're better than that. When folk tell you, oh, you think you're better than me. No, I'm better than that. And as long as you choose to be that and do that and live like that, I'm better than you doing that. But if you come out of that, then you can be where I am. So don't, don't allow anybody to make you feel like you're being arrogant or you think you're better than... If coming to Jesus don't make you better... Right? You ought to be better coming to Christ. I'm better than that. I'm better than what I was. I'm better than what you're doing. I'm better than how you're choosing to live. Yes, I am better than that. And I make no bones about it. Uh, look at Deuteronomy chapter number 7. Verse number six. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a what? Special people. Come on, say it out loud. Special, Special people. people. Special people unto himself. Above all, all people people. that are upon the face Above. of the earth. Y'all see that? Yes. Is it in your Bible? Yes. Did the Bible say you are special people? Yes. Above all the people up on the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you mm -hmm. right. because you were more in number than any people for right. you were the fewest of all people. Mm -hmm. But because the Lord loved you and because mm -hmm. he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now that's the, that, now that's the Bible <coughs> saying that uh, you are a special people. That, uh, that's that's uh, Old Testament. Now if you go in the New Testament, 1 Peter. Mm -hmm. 
to show you that that wasn't just for Israel, but this is for those who are children of God through the blood of Jesus. 1 Peter chapter 2. Are we there? Yeah. Need a second? Yeah, give me. Okay. First Peter. We got the Hebrews, James. First Peter chapter two. Okay. Amen. First uh, Peter chapter two, verse number nine. It says, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. That should show forth the praises of him who have brought you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So the Bible said you were special, a peculiar people, holy, special and God told Israel several times, sanctify yourself, set yourself aside. You, you are a peculiar people, so we cannot be world friendly. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Because our thing is to tell the world to get over here. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to come over there and, and fix ourselves to be acceptable. No, you need to come over here. Mm -hmm. When Noah built the ark, he was, hey, y'all better get over here. This is where the, this is the ark of safety. And so today the church is the ark of safety. And they need to get on board. Amen. Amen. This is the ark of safety. So the word uh, that we're dealing with here is abomination. Mm -hmm. Abomination. Anything that God hates, mm -hmm. it's loathsome to God. And so if God calls it an abomination, we can't find a way to make it acceptable. It's an abomination. God hates it. And so we have to come out of abominable practices and abominable things and stay with what God gave us to do. I'm rushing here. Why does God allow this stuff to continue? I mean, all these pagan holidays and all these traditions and whatnot, they've been going on and going on among the people of God. Why don't God just come down and just wipe it out? Give us choice. Shut, shut stuff down. Mm -hmm. Do what he say he'll do. Mm -hmm. Well, if you look at Deuteronomy 32. First of all, I just want to thank God for mercy. Amen. <laughs> and his loving kindness. Yes, and his yes. patience. Yes. That's, that's first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he's a loving God. Yes. And, and, and we don't know how to handle love. We abuse love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we think it's weakness. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord, help us. Amen. Deuteronomy 32. Mm -hmm. And I'll start at verse 26. Are you there? Mm -hmm. you need a second? Say, wait a minute. All right. Now, this is God speaking. I said I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, in, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and the Lord hath not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding. In them. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. They are a nation void of counsel, mm -hmm. and neither is there any understanding in them. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Elaine, for your heart, jump out your chest. Mm -hmm. I, I just set the, the flowers just down. Boom. I just set the flowers <laughs> just down. Boom. Just that book. Just that book. They changed that. Just that. Extremely careful. Extremely. I said, Lord, I forgot to tell Elaine last night. She's going to come around that corner. 
<laughs> that's it. Just, 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 they touch nothing else. That's it. That's all right. I'll hook you back up when you get it. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's it. If I'd have had to do more than that, we would not have power. Trust me. <laughs> so, so the Lord said, I said I would scatter them. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should have uh, should behave themselves strangely, lest they should say, our hand is high, and the Lord has not done all this. Y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, the Lord said, I was about to bust y'all up, but I didn't want the enemies to think they did it. All right. Mm -hmm. I ain't want them. I ain't want them to take credit for it. Say, now nah, our hand is high. The Lord didn't do this. Mm -hmm. We shut that down. We ain't on that. We. God said, you know, y'all been out of order, and I, I and I would have scattered y'all if I. But I, I know the wrong people would have took credit for it. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. They would think they can do something to my people. Right. Mm -hmm. And so God stayed His hand against us because all these world systems that hate us would think would take the credit, credit for it. Mm -hmm. but can't nobody shut God or his people down but God That's it. That's it. but I thank God for mercy today yes, yes. for staying his hand against us while like like uh, uh, Lot while we lingered <laughs> yeah. Bible says Lot, Lot lingered, he, lingered yeah. he warned his, his son-in-laws hey yeah. the wrath of God is coming but then when the angel came and said, let's go, the Bible said he lingered. And so we can't be the church to tell the world the wrath of God is coming. But then when God wants us to come out of stuff, we lingering. <laughs> we got to we got to have that same urgency. Amen. Amen. And so. They would have said our hand, not the Lord's. But we have done this and God know how the hearts of man is. And so he said, I said I would scatter them, but I know the enemy. They'll say my hand was high. The Lord didn't do this. And so God has been long-suffering with us, y'all. He's been long-suffering. But in Acts, the Bible says at the time of their ignorance, God winked at them. But it's now commanding man everywhere to repent. Well, that was their ignorance. But it's not just that ignorance. All ignorance. Amen. All ignorance God is no longer winking at because we have too much. Jesus has died. The Holy Spirit has been released. And there's too much uh, uh, opportunity for knowledge to, to know him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God is not winking at our ignorance anymore. Baalism is the cult center that has been against the knowledge of God throughout all of Old Testament history. Three elements of deception came into the world. Satan, the, the fall of Satan and fallen angels. Baalism. And then the, uh, the, the hidden mysteries contained in the Roman Catholic institution, which, which sprung out of this, this Baalism. Okay, now I'm, I'm skipping the, the top, y'all. I'm, I'm just hitting it. The, the three major elements of deception, satanic influence, follow the saints, satanic influence, Baalism, which began to set a, a system of unrighteousness in place, a system of unrighteousness in place, which it would take a, people a long time to come out of. Under Baalism, all across the land, different civilizations practiced Baalism different ways. But it was all Baalism. Worshipping the sun god. Worshipping the moon. Worshipping elements. All of this sprung out of Baalism and it was all across the land. And this is what God was fighting with the children of Israel to keep the children of Israel against. Everywhere he would take them, don't get into this. Don't practice what the Canaanites practice. It. Don't practice what the Hittites are practicing. Don't practice what the Perizzites are practicing. Stay away from these practices. And in different cult uh, centers and different areas of civilization, they had different names for their gods, but all of those gods sprung under Baalism. Okay? The chief deity was Baal, 
And the chief goddess was Ashtoreth. It was Baal and Ashtoreth. If I had time, I'd go all the way back to uh, Nimrod and Semiramis, where it all started. The Tower of Babel, where he built the Tower of Babel. God scattered them, and they went all over the land. And from there, Baalism began to spread. Nimrod and uh, Semiramis, and then different cult centers began to have Baal and Asterisk as, as the chief deities. And all throughout Bible, we will see uh, God saying, stay away from Baalism. Three elements of deception uh, that I just talked about. Now, once it got to the Roman Catholic Church, because Constantine was trying to appease Christians and keep the hidden mysteries of Baalism uh, going forth for those civilizations that maintain Baalism, if you will see when, they, when, when he uh, established the hierarchy of religion, because he said, hey, I'm a Christian now. We ain't killing y'all no more. I'm a Christian. I'll be one. But y'all focus on the religious stuff. Leave the political stuff to me. Okay? Don't worry about the political. I'm still the king. Jesus can be y'all king of glory. But I'm going to be the king of the world. Okay? And so he separated it, and he established the Roman Catholic Church. Y'all handle the religious stuff. Y'all shout, sing, have, have church. Hey, y'all do that. I run the political thing. And, that's all, and it's been separated ever since. And so we come in, and we, and we bought into that. I ain't on that out there. I ain't on what they doing. I just came to do that. that God going to take care of that. But Jesus came with a political agenda and not a religious agenda. I'll say that again. Jesus came with a political agenda and not a religious agenda. He didn't come saying, I'm the pastor. I'm the priest. I'm the prophet. Even though he shepherded, even though he, he followed the, the orders of God, and even though he prophesied, he never came saying, I'm that. He came saying, I am the king. I'm the king. I, 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 I will sit on my throne. That's a political agenda. That's not religion, that's political. In other words, I set policy. And upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And there will be a council of people that will know my heart and advance my will. They will dictate policy. Whether they shout about it or not, they're going to dictate policy. And so if we don't dictate policy, we are uh, neglecting our kingdom assignment. We can't stick our heads in the sand and just sing and shout until Jesus get back. There is a political agenda. He dictates policy. And so since Constantine wanted to appease the Christians, because he's a Christian now, but continue to appease those that were practicing Baalism, he had to hide the, what, what, what uh, some historians call the Tuscan mysteries. Babylonian mysteries. Had to hide them right in the face of them. Put it right in their face, but it was hidden. We still doing this. And so they were, they were uh, under the fish god Dagon, which was one of the Babylonian mysteries. Time won't let me go into it right now. And so when Constantine told Rome, now listen, 
we're going to be the church for him, but we're going to run him our way. So I'm going to set up a hierarchy of religious, and y'all going to handle that. Pope, the bishops, and all of the, the different people <laughs> under the Roman Catholic institution. And so they became the representation of Christianity. That's why Paul wrote to the what? Romans. Romans. Yeah. Not to the Ephesians. Not to the Colossians, yeah. not to those in the uh, Colossians, not to those in Thessalonica, to the Romans. Nah, if you're going to be saved, <laughs> I know Constantine said he's, he's the right. king. Uh, no, no. You must believe in your heart <laughs> and confess with your mouth <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> yes. He wrote that to the Romans. <laughs> Y'all let Constantine know he's the Lord. You, if you're going to be saved, you don't just wake up and say, okay, I'm a Christian. All right, I'm a, I, I, I think I like this. This is a good idea. No, 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 no. You got to say he's Lord. Lord that's right. You got to say he's Lord. Y'all tell all the Romans and let Constantine know you got to say he's Lord. That's right. But Constantine said, now y'all, I'm Lord. I'm Lord. No, you ain't Lord. He's the religious stuff. Right. And so, if you look at the pectoral cross, I meant to get, I give y'all copies of this. I'll, I'll, I'll get to y'all copies later. Uh, I ran off them before. But if you look at the pectoral cross, you see a shepherd with a bunch of sheep mm -hmm. yeah. and a dove. Mm -hmm. Okay? Shepherd with a bunch of sheep. Even got two, one wrapped around his shoulders. Mm -hmm. And a dove. Okay. Same thing under the cult centers. The shepherd mm -hmm. represents Horus, the good shepherd who is loved by his people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isis, Horus's mother, fanning the renewed life, uh, fanning renewed life into Horus with her wings, and that's the pectoral cross that the Pope wears. That's what that meant. Mm -hmm. But for the Christians, it's Christ, the good, Jesus, the good shepherd, mm -hmm. with the sheep on the shoulders and the dove represents the Holy Spirit, God, and the church. Because Constantine, Rome was to be for the world. And so the Pope wore that might, and he still wears that mitre, shaped like a fish. Yeah. For the Christians, it represents the disciples that were fishermen. But for the hidden mysteries, it represents Dagon, the fish god. And so, uh, that's why Dr. Cope would always say that the Roman Catholic institution, not church. They were never a church. They were never the Lord's church. It's an institution. The Roman Catholic institution. It was an institution of systems that hid mysteries and darkness. But because this wave of Christianity was so strong and we couldn't stop it, they decided to incorporate it and dictate it and drive it. it I, and I was thinking about this when I was watching a movie. You ever see the movie, The Book of Eli? Yeah. Yeah. He wanted that book, didn't he? Yeah. He wanted. To, he didn't want to be changed by the book. He just wanted the he book. The book. He wasn't going to read the book so that he could come to. No, he wanted that book because if I get it, I can control everybody else. Yeah. Give me that book. Fall for that book. I mean, he wanted that book. But the uh, character Denzel had. He had the book. <laughs> But what David say? That word has a hit in my heart. <laughs> so when they got the when they got the physical book from him, he he laid down and just start just start pouring it out, and the guy started rewriting the book because it was in him. <laughs> it was this this life is in me, but it was in him to 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 to, to change and to and to and to uh, you know. But that that other guy he wanted that book. Because if I can get that book, I can control the people. And that was Constantine's position. 
I want this Christianity not to submit to Christ, but I can control the people with it. And that's why it's so world friendly. It's so used to control people and get people to accept it so that I can lord over them. But Jesus is Lord. Ishtar, the goddess of sex and fertility. Ishtar is a variation of Ashtoreth, which is the, the cult centers we started out with, right? Baal and Ashtoreth. Now, when you get into different cult centers, when I say different cult centers, I'm talking about different areas of civilization. Uh, the Canaanites had Ashtoreth. The Babylonians which became the, the, the next biggest civilization at that time, had Ishtar. Mm -hmm. The Greeks called her Ashtore. The Romans ha uh, had Estery. And that's where we now get the name Easter. I don't, I don't, let me see, did I write that out on there? Yep, yep. sure did. Asterisk is plural. Oh, Asterisk is plural for Asterif, name for the practice of worshiping any fertility goddess in ancient Near East. Okay, the Canaanites had Asterisk, Babylonians had Ishtar, the Greeks had Asterisk, and the Romans had Asterisk. Oh. Uh, Look at Judges, chapter number two. Joshua Judges. Chapter number two. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Are we there? Mm -hmm. All right. Judges chapter number two. I'm going to start reading verse 10. And also all that generation were gathered unto their fathers, and there rose another generation after them, which knew not the Lord, nor yet the works which he had done for Israel. Another generation that knew not the Lord. How many of y'all know we're raising generations right now that don't yes. know the Lord? Yes. Because we can't make them go to church. You know, you can't make them. I went there. I, I can't make them. I pay the rent. I buy the food. I cook it. I, 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 do I, but I can't make them. I can't make it. You don't make it. You know, that ain't right. You know, that ain't right. To make your I ain't never heard a Jew say, I can't, I can't make my job. Man, them little kids don't be, it's 90 degrees. You're going to put them hot black pants and that hat on and you can get to the synagogue. I've never had a Muslim say, well, you know, we leave and go to the mosque and let our kids stay home and watch cartoons and eat cereal. Because you can't make your child be a Muslim. They don't do that. Only Christians. We're the only ones that think that that's, you know. We're the this, only Christians. Muslims and Jews don't do that. Mm -hmm. The kids gonna be, they gonna be. We gonna live this way. We gonna eat what we eat. We gonna dress how we dress. We gonna do this because th we. This is who we are. Right. We're the only ones that can't figure that. that, that, that. Mm -hmm. The kids run the house. Mm -hmm. you can't make them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's only the Christian culture, because as a black culture, you run your house. That's mm -hmm. right. Uh huh. Right. You make them do whatever you want. You gonna eat these nasty this. You gonna do this. You know. How is it that you can make them when you want to make them, but only when it comes to the Lord? Yeah. That's the only thing you can't make them. Right. Uh, you lived in my house. <laughs> you make them in everything else. You make them go to school. That's right. They don't like school no more than they like, they like Sunday school. school. They don't like academic school either. But you made them go. Didn't you make them? Because you had to be out of the house for eight hours and they you ain't paying daycare. 
Right. And they tried to get out your house. You made them. Right. Number one. And number two, if, if they were truant, they come knock on your door and you better have a good reason or you're going to jail. Right. So you made them go right. to school. You think education is important, and if they're going to be something in life, they better go. And you made them go to school. Yes. So don't tell me you can't make them. That's right. uh, Let's just connect the dots. How important is it to you? How important is this for their life? School, you made them. Obviously, you don't think this is that important to them and that important for their life. <laughs> Obviously, because when you really think it's important for their life, you showed us in school. You showed us what you would do to that child if you really think this is important for their life and they got to do it. You showed us what you would do if you really thought you would be in trouble. If it, so you showed us, right? You made them go to school. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be in trouble with God. I ain't worried about it. And I don't think this is that important for their life, so I can't make them. You can't make them. You can't make them. I can't. <laughs> but you showed us that you can make your child do what you want them to do. You showed us that with school. 12 years. You showed us. You can make them. Anyway, <laughs> Joshua chapter 2. What verse would do we stop? Okay. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and served Balaam. Balaam is plural. Baal is singular. Balaam means everywhere they went and they saw some practice of Baal, they embraced it. <laughs> they forsook the Lord God of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods mm -hmm. of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked the Lord to anger. Mm -hmm. Gods of the people. Verse 13, and they forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Y'all see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. They forsook the Lord and served Baal and Ashtoreth. Mm -hmm. Write down 1 Samuel 7, 3 through 4. 1 Samuel chapter 7, 3 through 4. Mm -hmm. 1 Kings. Chapter 19, verse 18. For those who just want to study it deeper. I'm just trying to show you in those scriptures that it's throughout your Bible. God says, stay away from Baal and Asherah. Those are other scriptures. I just showed you one. So you know it's in your Bible. God says, stay away from Baal and Asherah. Well, it's all throughout the Old Testament. Stay away from Asherah. Stay away from Baal. And that's plural, meaning when you get to these different cults, uh, uh, civilizations, some, they have some form of Baalism. And asterisk. The Canaanites had asterisk. The uh, Babylonians had Ishtar. The Greeks had Astery. And the Romans had Eastery. So at the Council of Nicaea, AD 25, Constantine, in the process of Christianizing the empire, ordered the resurrection of Christ to no longer be celebrated at the time of Passover, which is the feast that God ordered. It is to be celebrated on the Sunday following the first full moon after the vernal equinox. This is the spring festival of Ishtar, now pronounced Easter. So Constantine said, listen, we're going to be Christians and everything, but I know most civilization and society hate Jews. They hate the Jews. They, they hated God's people. And so... If we're going to bring the resurrection of Christ into society, we got to pull it away from Passover and let them go ahead with their Passover. And we'll, we'll celebrate it at the time of the spring festival of Easter. And so that's how, because they were already celebrating Easter and, 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 and worshiping uh, the, the fertility God and the, and the colors and the beauty of spring because she did that. So they're already celebrating that. And so now you want to celebrate the resurrection of Christ. And so you, you, you bring these things into your celebration. That's how all of these things got brought in. Just like uh, last night when I was talking about the Afrikoman where they would hide the matzah. Well, now they had the Easter eggs. 
yeah. for the kids. Yeah. They had the matzah in the Jewish, but they had an Easter egg. And so because they're doing this, the Christians want to get in on it. The so-called Christians want to get in on it. And so on the paper there, if before, now, now this is before Jesus even came, y'all. Right. We in the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. And they're already worshiping Asterisk. We, this is the Old Testament. We in the Old Testament. Yeah. Yeah. Asterisk. And if Asterisk, if, 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 if Asterisk, Istar, and Estery, as you can see on your paper, mm -hmm. one sculpture have her sitting there holding a big old bunny rabbit. If that don't look nasty and demonic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And the other one got her, this sculpture got her with rabbit feet. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. With these demonic looking things around mm -hmm. his eyes. Mm -hmm. But rabbit feet, and this one holding the rabbit. Now we ain't got to Jesus yet. Right. This is this is Ishtar and Astery representing rabbit, which is fertility. Fertility. Mm -hmm. So how does that got to do with the mm -hmm. resurrection of Jesus? Mm -hmm. Because it's the spring festival. And we're dealing with Ishtar and Esther right now. That's where the rabbits are coming in. Mm -hmm. Jesus has nothing to do with rabbits. <laughs> Other than creating them. Mm -hmm. And so it's in our, our churches, y'all. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, and the church is what? The council of God. God right. right. Council. Now, Pastor Bolar got a, a, a lengthy <laughs> uh, uh, dissertation on the description of the church. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, it's a dissertation on the description of the church, which is uh, the council of God. But if we're going to be God's counsel in the earth, we cannot have these things dictated to us. We're the counsel. Yes. We set policy. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all the counsel, where's y'all city? Zion! Zion. <laughs> we are city council for Zion. Zion. Yeah. We set policy. We dictate things. We... And we're telling the world, y'all got to come to this city. Y'all got to see this city. Because God said, out of Zion is the perfection of beauty. Zion is situated. What? And he never changed it. He didn't say, now nah, after Jesus dies, Zion going to go away. No, it's just spiritual Zion now. So the same thing applies. We're Zion. This is the city. Upon this rock, I'll build my church. They will be the council in Zion. So we set policy. You can't come in the city and just start doing what you want. City council ain't going to have that. Amen. You got to get permission to do stuff, right? From council. Right? You don't just come in the city and just start doing stuff. Where is the council? Oh, that ain't us. That ain't our business. We just here to just have that right, glad be the service one more time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, your counsel. When things ain't going right in the city, when you got potholes all over the place, when you got crime at sky high, they want to know counsel what y'all doing. Right. <laughs> this city is a mess. So how are we represent Zion? Because we don't meet in council. We don't meet in council. To, to, to share God's heart and God's mind and God's will and make sure Zion is ready for citizens. Jesus is our Passover. Okay. Let me. Uh... <laughs> uh, I told y'all two and a half hours of a seminar. I'm trying to cram in forty minutes. Okay. Oh, let's see. Should I? How? How can I? In ten minutes, how can I aim at this? Oh. 
Okay. I'll come back at, at another time, and we'll go in details. So can I just cut across the field? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. His, Historic, the historical count of Jesus' death is not Friday. Amen. It's Wednesday. Yes, it is. Wednesday, it, it, and I'll come back and I'll, I'll, I'll go through all my notes and lay it out for you. But for now, it's Wednesday. Passover actually took place on a Wednesday. And that's why I say this year might be the, one of the most significant Passovers we'll have because it actually started on Wednesday, Wednesday. this year. Yeah. That's right. It actually started on Wednesday this year. So this year I'm looking for some great things. I'm looking for some marvelous things. God said in prayer, in an intercessory prayer, uh, uh, sanctify yourself against tomorrow for I will do wonders. So all the things we've been pressing for and whatnot, this year, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm looking for some miraculous things. I'm looking for some testimonies. I believe this is going to be one of the most pivotal Passover seasons that's going to launch some things. And if I were you, I wouldn't sleep on it. I would look for it. I would declare he's a reward of them that diligently yes, yes, seek him. Yes, this year, yes. Passover took place on yes. a Wednesday. Yes. I, th I don't think things happen by happenstance. God is too intelligent That's and right. orchestrate things too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, it, But it, it was on a Wednesday, okay, mm -hmm. that he was crucified. It was, and, and the, well, how does it get all mixed up? Because what people uh, fail to understand is that it was two Sabbaths that week. Yeah. They were just looking for the regular Sunday Sabbath. And so they thought it was from Friday, you know, Friday, the preparation day. Friday is the preparation day. The Bible's talking about the preparation day, the preparation day. So they're thinking Friday, even though I don't care how you count. That's not three days and three nights. When you study, what you find out is it was another Sabbath that week. And the preparation was for that. It was Passover. And even when you read the scripture, Jesus make it clear it was the Passover. The Bible kept saying the Passover was approaching. The Passover was approaching. So the Passover was the Sabbath that the Lord was preparing himself for, not the weekly Sabbath that was happening every week. So it, they had two Sabbaths in that week. Passover and their regular Sabbath. And the Lord and, and the Jews count the days. From the evening to the morning. From the evening to the morning. That's how they count their days. Because guess what? That's how God introduced the counting of days. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. If we go to Genesis, look at Genesis. Right. Mm -hmm. Chapter number one. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all there? Yes. That should have been real easy. Okay, now I'm going I'm to try to find this. Okay, after the creation of the first thing, mm -hmm. uh, God let there be light. Uh, the seven three. made the firmament. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three. Huh? Three. Verse three? three? Okay, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the day. Okay. Oh, verse 5. Okay. Y'all see verse 5? Yes. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was what? First, first day. day. The first day. Okay. And, and God uh, went on creating some other stuff. Okay, verse 8. And God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning. Were the what? Second day. And it goes on throughout for seven days. God created this, that, 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 that. and then the evening and the morning was the third day. And the evening and the morning was the fourth day. We count days starting in the morning. Tonight. But it was the evening, six o'clock. So, was the first day. Okay. And so. Jesus was crucified, and that's why they had to get him off the cross before the evening hit. Because once the evening hit, that was the next day. That was Passover. Passover was approaching. 
and they had to get him off the cross, and they and they said, uh, usually when they crucify people, and you get a strong one that don't want to die, they would go and break their legs to expedite the death, so they can get them down. They went to ask permission to break the legs of them th these guys up here, because they ain't dying. And I think the other ones gained strength because they was beside Jesus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, these guys ain't dying. What right. the, mm -hmm. can, can we go ahead and break their legs? The expedite. And so they went out there and broke their legs. Mm. And when they went to break uh, the Lord's leg, he was already dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and so it goes back to the Old Testament when it says, not a bone will be broken. Mm -hmm. right. You're not going to break his. Nope. I, I, I got it. And so he cried, and, and, and so they, did, they didn't break the Lord's legs. They broke theirs. Mm -hmm. And so, because they, they had to hurry up and get them off the cross, but the Lord was fulfilling prophecy. Right. Not a bone would be broken. That's right. That's right. And so they uh, took him down off the cross in the evening. Mm -hmm. It was the evening. Mm -hmm. Wednesday evening. Mm -hmm. And so Wednesday From sunset to sunrise, mm -hmm. that was the first day. Mm -hmm. Thursday from sunset to sunrise mm -hmm. was the second day. Mm -hmm. Okay? From Friday, sunset to sunrise mm -hmm. was the third day. Mm -hmm. And Saturday, which is the Sabbath, mm -hmm. he got up in the tomb. Somewhere Saturday evening, he was up. And left the tomb somewhere Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. It wasn't Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. They have sunrise service. Mm -hmm. But the only sun that was rising Sunday was the sun in the sky. Yeah, Because Jesus rose oh, in the rise. evening. Right. He was already gone. Oh, and, 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 and even if you look at the language of the Bible, it proves that he was already gone. Look at uh, Matthew. 28, Matthew 28. <clears throat> <clears throat> At the end of the Sabbath, that's Saturday, right? Mm -hmm. As it began to dawn, as it began to dawn, began to dawn. This day just started. Mm -hmm. The first day of the week came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. Mm -hmm. Great with Jesus. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Mm -hmm. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear ye not, for I know you seek Jesus which is crucified. Mm -hmm. But what's, what the angel say? Verse 6. He is not here. He is not here. He is, not here. He is risen as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. Now, the day is just now starting. Right. Yeah, At the gone. crack of the... Right. It's just starting. And they come in and he ain't there. That's right. Already gone. He I'm ain't gone. there. He gone. They didn't, they didn't say that when they came right, when Sunday was just starting, that Jesus was yawning. Mm -mm. <laughs> no. He was already gone. Just already rising. rising. He wasn't just rising at the crack of dawn. He was gone. He was already gone. So it wasn't nothing rising but the sun. But they used the word past tense. Laid. Yeah, laid. laid. This is where they laid him. Yeah. That's where he was. Right. He was, so they're they going to be having sunrise services all over the place today, y'all. <laughs> but he, he didn't rise Sunday morning. <laughs> Was God. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 
Yes, it did. Folded that napkin yes, and was gone. And, was gone. and that was the only thing left. That was a napkin. Mm -hmm. And the interesting thing about that, in Jewish tradition, whenever the uh, father the father is at the table, mm -hmm. if when he's done, when he's done, he just leaves. But if he intends to come back to the table, he will leave his napkin. Because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be back. Right. Y'all, y'all, that's going to hit you going home. <laughs> he's coming back. No, used to say he's coming back. Jewish tradition. They leave. They leave the knack. I'm coming back to the table. Going back. Don't mess with Lord Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Mark chapter 16. I only got a couple seconds. Mark chapter 16. Let's see how Mark says. All right. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came to the sepulcher at, at the rising of the sun. Mm -hmm. And they said among themselves, who shall roll away the stone? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white raiment. That's the same angel. Mm -hmm. And he said unto them, be, be not affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. He is not here. And they came very early in the morning, the first day of the week, to the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. So they came at the rising of the sun. The day is just starting. Right. He already been gone, so he left yesterday. <laughs> the sun is rising. He's gone. So the only sun that's rising today, body of Christ, is the sun in the sky. This ain't sunrise service. Because he died. I don't mind. <laughs> Sunday morning, got up with all powers. All power, powers. Oh, he didn't. Oh, he did. And, and you, you know how y'all used to perk up. Y'all slept the whole message, but then we got down to it. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I mean they they say they they worked that early for a good twenty minutes. <laughs> 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 Let it go, cause we don't we don't build too many messages on that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking about? Nah, I can't let that go. Right. Yeah. I don't build too many sermons on that thing. That's that's my that's my climate. I don't care what I'm preaching about. The <laughs> <laughs> toe might be hurting, but that's all right. Yeah, yeah. That was right. Yeah. Get up on Saturday night. Used to get out of the uh -huh. on, on Sunday morning. The Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we did. We were Catholics and we would go every, with our friends just so we could laugh. Lord yeah. Jesus. Oh, that was his grand rising. Yeah. Yeah. And Sunday. One last one. That is John's account. Let's look at John and then I got to get out of Pastor wow. Bolar's way. <laughs> John chapter 20. Wow. 
All right. John chapter 20, the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene, early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulcher, and see if the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. Mm -hmm. Then she running, and cometh to Simon Peter, to the other disciples whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, they have taken away the Lord out of the sepulcher. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever, and you just read on down there. Mm -hmm. And verse number seven, what uh, Elaine was talking about. <laughs> and the napkin that was about his head, mm -hmm. not lying with the linen clothes, mm -hmm. but wrapped together in a place by, by itself. Yeah. Hey, man. He wow. just set that one up there, you know, mm -hmm. all the way from the rest of his clothes. It's like the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Amen. Right. Yeah. But, but, this said all, but when they come in and he unfolded his clothes, did the laundry fold the clothes, oh, yeah. <laughs> did all of this. <laughs> You know, he done bought the he bought the tomb and the clothes. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus ain't gonna give you your clothes back dirty. You know, he go hold your stuff up here. Right. There you go, appreciate it right. while I was here on earth. Thank you much. <laughs> <laughs> but he was gone, y'all. Yeah, yeah, Every scripture indicate he was gone. Yeah. Not one person caught him stretching. Right. Not one person, and they coming at the crack because they want they want they've been waiting to get there. They been so they didn't they weren't coming late like right. CP time. They, they, did, they didn't do that. Right. No, they wasn't on that time. They was gonna be there. They've been waiting so bad to get and then the ones that wanted to uh, put the spices right. on it for us down. They they waiting right at the day. Yeah. Cause the Sabbath we can't move. Can't do nothing. Can't do nothing. Right. But the moment as soon as we can, so they at the crack of dawn. The, the one writer right. saying the sun just coming up. The other one saying it's still dark. Yeah. It's, it's so the day hadn't even started. Right. So and when they get over there, he gone. He gone. Well, he, that's he what gone. He told them. So no matter how you count, Friday, mm -hmm. Saturday, that's only two days. Yeah. Cause Sunday don't even count. Yeah. They trying to count it like Sunday was a day he was in the tomb. He, 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 even if you go by your preaching, early Sunday morning, so you don't even get to count Sunday. No. That's right. Even if we go with your stuff, we don't get to count Sunday because you said early Sunday morning. <laughs> so even if I go with your count, you going to count Sunday even though he, he rose. <laughs> you still going to... Consider that a day that he was in the tomb. Right. No. No, that's definitely count. No matter how you count it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. He was not in the tomb from Friday to Sunday. Right. You ain't gonna get three days and three nights. Not that. Out of Friday to Sunday, all right? Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. That was Amen. Did I do it? At did. 40 minutes. Yes, did. Two hours, two and a half hours of seminar. <laughs> Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> Father, we thank you for your continued you, goodness Father. and mercy toward us. Thank you for showing us your truth. Thank you for ordering our steps. Thank you for blessing us and bringing us into the saving grace of Jesus Christ. God, you said your people perish for lack of understanding. First of all, God, we're praying that your people gain understanding yes. so we can take these seasons away from the world and paganism yes. that we could take this season specifically yes. oh, back from Easter yes. and attach it back to Passover where it belongs yes. because Jesus is our Passover lamb yes. and if we do the things of Passover if we maintain the particulars of Passover we will not err in these things of the world so help us, Father God, to walk in your ways. As we prepare to enter into your worship experience today, bless the worship leader, anoint a, a, a Prophet Cobra as we set the atmosphere for your presence. Deliver unto us your word from heaven and continue to move us in the things that are pleasing to you. Cause us to be your counsel in the earth. Let us not be afraid to be your counsel. Let us not be ashamed of the gospel. Lord calls us to represent Zion yes. as you said it would be yes. 
You said the perfection of beauty will shine out of Zion. You said your word will go out, out of Zion. You said sinners will be afraid in Zion. God, let us not neglect our assignments to be your counsel that will represent this glorious city. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.